So uh, today's uh, video is actually how to even use OBS, um, OBS Studio. It's open source. It allows you to um, actually um, stream um, whatever is going on in your screen or whatever you choose to a Facebook Live feed. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, if you do Zoom webinar, it's like forty, fifty dollars a month extra. So, um, but with this, it allows you to actually um, to do it um, for free because OBS is open source, and um, I'm a I'm a I'm an open source guy. Shout out to anybody who likes open source. All right, so let me uh, get started. The first thing is before you go to Facebook Live, make sure you have your Zoom meeting open. Um, and your video camera and everything is set. I'll do a separate training video on how to use um, virtual background so you can see that. Um, but okay, so let's get started um, with uh, OBS. You know, um, one thing is uh, before you go live, you want to click this option for settings, right? And you're going to go to stream, and you can see this was the key uh, API for my old. Um, old webinar uh, that I ran um, so your streaming services you can choose all different things custom streaming server you can go to YouTube uh, Twitter Periscope daily motion um, twitch but we're gonna stick with Facebook live because um, that's really what we're, we're on um, leave this as default um, default right and then um, you're gonna click uh, live video so here's what's gonna happen um, see it says unable to find the camera this is important because if you do Facebook live first and then open your zoom meeting it locks up the camera on Facebook live even though you're not using it and then you won't, you'll get an error message on zoom meeting so now we go over here to connect this is what you need right you're gonna copy that and then over here you're gonna paste it paste that in apply okay now, before you go live, one thing I like to do is um, to just make sure my audio and everything is working because sometimes you can get like a funky like garbling. So just click um, start recording, uh, testing, 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 one, two, testing, one, two, stop the recording. And for me, this is in my videos folder, double check. All right, so the audio sounds great. Okay, so we can close that out. And close this window out so now um, you click start streaming and you'll see this green and that means your stream is healthy right and then on on the connect side so here you might type um, whatever it is see face it's already starting to pick up the stream and it's gonna it's gonna turn until it picks it up okay so now you're good um, now if you're just going to uh, Facebook Live solo, then you don't need to use OBS. You can just go back to your camera. The reason why um, I'm using OBS is when I have group, um, when I bring on a guest that I'm interviewing or um, we're, we're doing a guest chat, right? So what you so this is where OBS is pretty cool. Let's say we're going to do, um, we're going to call this dual um, uh, one guest webinar. Sorry, my keyboard is super clicky, right? And so you, so these are the scenes. Like this is for PDF screen share. So in the rest of the screen, I might have a PDF that's open. That's a format that I might use. Or a lot of people use this for the reaction videos, right? Now this is my full screen of the webinar. But let's go to a uh, guest webinar, right? Add um, window capture and add existing. We're going to do Zoom. So now you see these little red lines what you have to do is you have to resize it for based on what you need but the thing is in this actually zoom allows you to resize so um, actually I'm gonna shrink the size of OBS and then what all you have to do is is stretch it and make sure now you're good so whatever is going on in your zoom meeting now it fills the whole pane in F in Facebook Live, all right? So this is all you really need. Um, and then when you bring on a second guest, this screen will split in half, and you'll have your guest over here and things like that. Now there are some settings in Zoom Meeting that you should do 
for video, one thing would be, well, enable mirror effect, what happens is then my background goes flipped. So I'm going to keep that there. Enable HD, um, touch up my appearance, right? Um, but display participants' name on their video. But also um, hide non-video participants. Sometimes if their video goes in and out, so you want to make sure that you uncheck that and then spotlight my video when I speak. And what's going to happen is like it's just going to like flash yellow uh, when you're talking. So you want to ma make sure you have um, all that there. In OBS, you can see that your audio is working. When your guest is talking, you'll see this side almost like an equalizer moving. So um, this is how OBS works. Let's just say that you wanted to add another screen. Um, maybe want to, let me see if I have a mastermind. Let's just say, um, oh, okay. Okay, we're going to open this, right? And what I'm doing here is I'm showcasing um, an image. And let's say you want to have an image constantly floating in the webinar screen. Then what you can do is add video uh, window capture device, right? And, um, well, actually, let's just do create new. And let's call this Windows um, Media Photo viewer and then here you have to find it uh, where are you screenshot oh there it is okay right so now you can you can put this in the background now in the scenario that you have the um, the two people moving you, you're gonna um, I can sometimes put their logo or their like Twitter handle up here and I'm and you're gonna change the size as you need so one thing with OBS though if you cover the window it doesn't it doesn't it it broadcasts whatever is on the top so you have to make sure you have all your windows laid out right um, so that's pretty important but that's uh, pretty much it um, how to get um, OBS uh, up and running um, so if you have any other questions, I will be posting a video of, um, now this is the preview. I haven't even gone live yet. Once you go live, then, um, you know, that will go there. Now the other thing is on Zoom meeting, I like to record because then just in case something happens with the Facebook live, I can go back to the um, recording of the Zoom meeting and then edit it and then re-upload it. Now it won't be Facebook live, but it will still be, um, it'll still be going, so. Alright, well if you have any other questions, post them in the comments. Thank you.